These days, cars come with many different features like a navigation system or headset or heated seats, but a chassel man is ready to bring a more practical feature to the roads and it could bring a lot of economic development along with it. ABC 10's Keweenaw Bureau reporter Sam Ali has the story. Ed Lottie began his journey designing a low-floor mobile home for his family, and now, 50 years later, he's ready to take that idea to the roads. He learned most of his trade through working on cars as a mechanic, and although he is now semi-retired, he is pretty much working full-time on this project. And he says if he can just get certification, the vehicles can fill the needs of many different sectors. I want to build a final one and have it certified you know, for many different markets like the handicap market, the bus market, the ambulance market, you know, uh, utility van market. There's a huge, huge market for this thing. So how does it work? An air compressor lifts the car up to 14 inches off the ground and on command. <laughs> brings it down to the ground. And on the inside, it's quite spacious. The back end is probably about 14 foot uh, as far as interior space lengthwise, it's about seven feet and a half widthwise and about seven feet high. Lottie says he already has the connections in place to start producing the vehicles, and this isn't the only low floor vehicle he has made. But at the end of the day, it's all about sparking economic development in a community that really needs it. My purpose is to put people back to work locally because we have a very high unemployment rate, and a lot of these people are have companies that would fit the building of my project perfect. So I've got, basically, I've got all the factories I need to build this thing locally, and we've been putting a lot of people to work, and I do have sales for this thing nationwide. Lottie is putting the last touches on his final prototype, and he hopes by spring of next year, his idea will become a reality on the roads. For ABC 10, CW5 News Now, I'm Sam Ali.